Hi everyone and welcome to the energy update from February 21st through to 27th 2022. My name is Heike Bartels and maybe you already know me from my feel good workout or my dance videos or my daily energies on Instagram and Facebook. For next week I again got two themes. The first one is finding more meaning in life or finding meaning in life. And the interesting or the important thing about this is it is not about what you do, it's all about how you do it because it's a feeling and it's a feeling within you that you cannot find in the outer world. I know that many of us have been brought up thinking or they have taught us you need to have a certain job, you need to have kids, you need to have a certain kind of relationship and then you will be fulfilled and happy and no, it wasn't like, like that. We found out it wasn't like that. So what did we do? Maybe we worked harder, maybe we tried something different from all the just um, mentioned things. We got a different degree or did a seminar or maybe also tried some self-help, whatever, because we thought something was wrong with us. But no, it's not. It doesn't come from that. It's an inner feeling and it's actually something that comes from developing, from cultivating and practicing your own talents and your own capacity. So actually it does not matter whether or whether or not you have kids, whether or whether you not are in a relationship or what kind of job you do for a living. It is actually all about how you do that. Are you enriching it with your unique talents or are you are you not? <laughs> so just if you if you're not fulfilled, if you are at this point where you are doubting yourself and where you're asking yourself did I choose the wrong thing or did I do the wrong thing in my life or even am I wasting my life? then just journal around what you love doing, what makes you feel one with yourself, in tune with yourself, which is then of course actually a feeling that's in tune with your soul, because that's where it comes from. What makes your heart dance? What makes your heart jump up and down <laughs> with for joy? And that's really what it's about. So. Just think of what it is, or me maybe even if you can't think of it, if you can't write it down. Yeah, I was just suggesting to do something like automatic writing, but I know sometimes there are some um, topics that we kind of block ourselves. So maybe you want to also ask a good friend in that case. But someone you really trust, obviously, someone who knows you very well and um, with whom you, you feel understood, like this person gets me. So that's a person that maybe always follow your intuition, that maybe can tell you this is it. <laughs> this is what makes you so, so unique and maybe you did not even expect it. And then think of how you could express this more in your personal life. And if it's something that you are doing, like painting, writing, what else can I think of? Think of anything creative, really, cooking, gardening, um, some crafting, then think of how you could do more of that in your daily life and to enrich your life with joy and to have this feeling carrying um, also like being dominant in your vibration because that really helps you and it helps the world. Okay, so this is then how you feel fulfilled and how you 
at some point think, okay, that's my purpose. Yeah, but you know, your purpose can change. So just stick to the feeling and let the feeling be your compass. The second topic is harmonize your inner and outer world. And we are asked to take moments throughout the day where we tune in with ourselves and acknowledge how we feel, like a little break and then ask yourself, how am I feeling? And try to describe that with three words and write them down. And then think, okay, just look around. How is this or is this, better to say, reflected in the outside world? If it's obvious, just write it down. If not, then just ask yourself, is it maybe something in the collective that the collective experiences right now? Because of course you are part of the collective, so you're part of the collective energy and hanging in there, although it might be different for you. The other thing why it's like not explainable in this way, it could be your soul contract. It could be something that you agreed before you came here, that you agreed to before you came here. So it's, it makes sense with your life path which you might not immediately acknowledge, but just write it down and it will make sense eventually afterwards and later on. So if what you experience is not what you want, then of course you need to know what you want because you need to be able to feel as if your wish was fulfilled. You know the fastest way to attract whatever you desire is to feel as if your wish would be fulfilled. So what does it feel like you having your wish fulfilled? That's why it says fake it until you make it. So fake it emotionally until it, the event is there. And the important thing of course is it's necessary that you don't feel resistance to what you want, because if you feel resistance, obviously that's the obstacle to not, or the, the obstacle to manifest it. So just take some day, some moment throughout the day, tune in with yourself, three words to describe how you're feeling, acknowledge if the that's a reflect, if that's reflected in the outer world. And if not, just see, okay, it's the collective, it's my soul or my soul contract, and then correct it. Correct it by feeling what you want and then go for it. Because although we have planned something to experience before we came here, we can always change everything. That's the power we have. <laughs> so the message from the masters for this week was or is. How can you empower yourself? And of course that's <clears throat> again asked to be written down and also how can you love yourself more? Because of course love is the greatest power. It's the superpower that we've got which resolves everything actually. Yeah and I can just say that from my very own experience it resolves just everything um, even if you thought there was no solution to it it does so um, find a little bit of time where you can help yourself empower yourself with decrees affirmations or mantras self-love mantras and also we are encouraged to get out of our um, home homeware, yeah, I'm sorry, I just feel like, okay, uh, for me, actually, it's my gym, um, or gym, I'm not going to the gym, but my um, training, and after a few good workout, uh, just cover yourself to not get cold, kind of clothes style, so make sure 
that you get out of that, that you make yourself look, feel actually, um, yeah, a way that you like adorn yourself. So you feel really good in your own skin because it's again, or finally, time to enjoy yourself and to enjoy your life again more. Yeah, I know we've got a challenging year ahead again, but it's not necessarily, or has to be necessarily be challenging for you. That's the thing about the collective energy. The collective energy, yes, affects all of us, but it does not necessarily have to be something negatively influencing you. It can be actually just something that's like bypassing or even an advantage for you, giving you new opportunities. So it's very important now to just think, okay, it's time to enjoy life again. We're out of the collective shock for that we've been in for almost two years. Now, 2022 is a different thing. Okay, so I hope this was helpful. Thank you very much for giving your loving attention and your time and your energy. And of course, you know I've got this vision of more healthy, happy people on this planet. That's also why I do all these feel-good workout videos. Um, thank you for helping me via subscribing to my channels, also liking, sh sharing and commenting. And so much that you are here to help create a new world with freedom, love, peace, health, wealth, compassion and community. That's what we all need. Lots of love.